I know you guys have seen monitors advertised at five millisecond response times and one millisecond response times, but have you ever stopped to think if it was all a lie? So I'm gonna rile up some feathers, but hopefully by the end of this video, you guys are much more informed and know exactly what things mean when you see them advertised online. And of course, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you could do to make sure that you buy the right monitor or the right TV and you never have to question yourself ever again. So without further ado, let's get right into it. This is solely an educational video, so don't get too riled up about it. You know who you are. Peter. Okay, so response time, what is it? Let me just go through that first before I start talking about the marketing jargon that is posted online. Response time refers to the time it takes for one individual pixel to change from one color to the other color, or in simple cases, black to white. Of course, you want this to be as low as possible. The lower it is, that means that your pixels change color much more faster. That means that you do not have a higher response time, which will lead to ghosting that looks something like this. And overall, you're gonna have a much better viewing experience. Ghosting, like I said earlier, happens when a pixel takes too long to change color before the rest of the pixels start already changing color. So that gives this whole ghosting effect to it. This is much more apparent on TVs and for some older monitors, but nowadays that's not typically a normal thing that happens for the newer monitors, but we'll get into that much later. A good rule of thumb to go by is that a monitor with a higher refresh rate typically has lower response times. Thus, you're not gonna see that ghosting effect on a high refresh rate monitor. Input lag, which kind of works hand in hand with response time, but it is not the same thing. Basically, what input lag is, is that it's the time it takes for an input, like moving left or right on a keyboard or moving your thumbstick on a controller, for that input to show up on screen. Of course, you want this to be as low as possible. Like I said before, TVs have a problem with this. This is why I do not like TVs and monitors are the way to go because you do have a much lower input lag, thus you won't have a lag in between inputs. So back to the point of the video of why one millisecond is actually a myth. Well, it just so happens that one millisecond response time, when they say that on an Amazon page or Newegg or wherever you're buying this monitor, from when they say one millisecond response time that is not entirely accurate because when they say one millisecond response time that is the time it takes from a pixel to change from one color to another and most of the times a lot of these monitor companies do not use the same metrics typically you want to see the time it takes for a pixel to change from black to white but in a lot of cases these monitor companies just use gray to gray and that has kindly turned into the industry standard when talking about monitor response times. So what gray to gray means is that's the time it takes from a pixel, which is gray, which is like in between black and white to go from either black to back to gray or from white to back to gray. And the problem with this is that gray is kind of an ambiguous color. You know, this could be gray, this could be gray, this could be gray. I mean, is there any specific one that is not gray? Not really. So when you say gray to gray, which shade of gray are you actually talking about? They do not tell you the exact shade of gray that they're talking about and whether or not it's going from that specific shade of gray to white, then back to that color or to white and then to a different shade of gray. It's kind of ambiguous, like I said. Also, a lot of times these monitors are experimented under controlled conditions, which are not really representative of how it actually is with consumer use. Now, what I mean by that is that if you have a monitor hooked up to your PC and it's using a 1.4 cable versus a 2.0 cable and maybe the cable, it's not really connected properly or maybe the cable is really long or uh, maybe you have a lot of wireless stuff on your desk. There's just so many variables to consider regarding input lag and response time that might occur within your setup. So what you guys can actually do to kind of counteract this whole phenomenon with marketing people advertising things that are kind of false, well, you guys can use the resources that are online for you to choose the correct monitor with the correct specs that you actually want. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, you have a fabulous resource called YouTube. Yes, YouTube, there are so many people that just do reviews on specific monitors and they actually test it out in real time to see how it performs. Also, there's a wonderful resource called ratings.com. I've been using this for all my monitors. I actually 
featured this website in a couple of my videos regarding this ASUS monitor that I have on my desk. And it is a great resource to use when it comes to researching a monitor that you're looking to buy. I know it doesn't have all the monitors, but for those monitors that are not featured on this website, you could just use Google or another resource within Google to find that specific monitor. But ratings.com, it has the whole entire breakdown for any specific monitor that you're looking for. And they really do go in depth when it comes to colors, the color correction, the input lag, the response time, the FPS, everything. I'm talking about anything you could think of regarding your monitor, they have tested it out and it's a great resource. I recommend everybody go check it out. Of course, it's free. I'm not sponsored by them by any chance, but uh, <laughs> I use their resource all the time and I absolutely love it. So what I recommend you guys do is before you guys buy a monitor and you see that it's, it's advertised at like one millisecond response time or five millisecond response time or anything like that, guys, go over to ratings.com, go over to YouTube, go over to Google, type in that monitor, look up reviews for it, see how users have reported on that specific monitor, whether or not it's actually good, whether or not it has issues down the road and whether or not it actually has good specs that you're looking forward to. If in case you're wondering, what's the response time and input lag on my monitors? Well, funny enough, when I bought it, it was marketed at one millisecond response time. But once you go to ratings.com and you type in any of the two monitors I have on my desk, you will quickly find out that it's close to like 10 millisecond response time. So yeah, completely different. Either way, 10 millisecond response time is actually not bad at all, especially after the fact that that is after all other devices have been plugged into it. So 10 milliseconds is not bad. And this is where I used the game. And that's how I got to um, Apex Predator in Apex Legends. You know, subtle flex, you know, I'm, I'm not here to brag, but you know, I know how to shoot. So let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you guys actually have a monitor that was supposed to be one millisecond response time. But once you actually look it up online using all these wonderful, wonderful tools that you guys have at your disposal, you actually found out that it's much higher than that. Like I said, my monitor was advertised at one millisecond response time until I found out it's actually more like 10. And if you guys learned anything from this video, make sure you guys subscribe for more content like this. I love making these types of videos where I educate you guys on things that I might know, but you might not know. I figured I'm actually helping out a lot of people this way. So, hey, um, you know, if you guys enjoy this video, let me know down below and I'll make sure I make more tips and tricks about monitors. And make sure you guys do smash the like button. It does help out my channel long run. And of course, I will love you forever. But anyways, guys, my name is Matthew. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go eat my pizza right now. And as always, peace out. <laughs>